All right, so Trezor just launched their newest cold wallet, the Safe7, and this thing looks insane. There's nothing else like it on the market, and whoever handled the marketing for this absolutely crushed it. That said, Trezor used some new terms to market this wallet, like quantum ready and auditable secure chip, and we need to break down what those actually mean so that there's no confusion. But this is the most excited I've been about a wallet in a long time, so of course I've already ordered mine. If you wanna order yours too, the link down in the description will take you directly to the Trezor Safe 7, and you'll also get the free wireless charger while supplies last. So let's start with the design because this thing is just beautiful. I mean, I've been nerding out over it. Similar to the Trezor Safe 5, the 7 uses a Gorilla Glass touchscreen with haptic feedback, so it is scratch proof, but it's two and a half inches, which is 62% bigger than the Safe 5, which if you have sausage fingers like me, it's super helpful. It's also the brightest screen on the market with 700 nits of brightness, which is insanely bright for a hardware wallet. So expect the screen to be super crisp and clear with vivid colors. For comparison, the iPhone 17 typically runs at 1000 nits of brightness, so it's getting close to phone territory. It also has an anodized aluminum body available in black, green, and Bitcoin orange, a reinforced glass back, and the entire device is IP54 rated, so it's dust and splash proof. We see a lot more wallets going this route so that they're more durable and will last a lot longer. But the design doesn't stop on the outside. Inside, it uses a Life PO battery, which is the first wallet on the market to use this kind of battery. It's designed to outlast standard lithium batteries and delivers four times more charging cycles, which means it should last a lot longer, even if you store it away for years. Another cool thing about this battery is that you don't have to necessarily keep it charged. You can let it drain all the way to zero, and it's not going to affect the battery like it would with a standard lithium battery. But let's say the battery does fail one day, years later, it will still work by plugging it into a power source using the included USB-C cable, so you'll always be able to use it. Okay, now before we dive into the security features, which is what I'm really excited for, let's talk about usability because this is the most user-friendly wallet Trezor has ever put out, and it's what everyone has been asking for for years. So this is the first Trezor wallet that is designed to be used with both your computer or your phone. The previous Trezor wallets were mainly desktop wallets because they didn't have Bluetooth. But the Safe 7 uses an open source, fully encrypted Bluetooth connection that encrypts every command and transaction to ensure no one can intercept, alter, or inject malicious code. And it remains invisible to unknown devices, so it only connects to trusted devices like your personal phone, computer, or tablet. And yes, that means it works with your Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android mobile devices. And I mean, this level of compatibility is basically unheard of in the wallet industry. A lot of wallets only work with your phone or your computer, uh, sometimes both, but a lot of them won't work with your tablet. So this works with your tablet, your computer, and your phone, which is exactly what we need if we want to see mass adoption. And like I mentioned earlier, it does support wireless charging. So if you use that link in the description, you will get a free wireless charger to go with it. All right, now for the fun stuff. Security. The Safe 7 is loaded with buzzwords that have been floating around the crypto space for a while now. And I wanted to find out what those terms actually mean and how they make the wallet more secure in the real world. So I did some digging and here's what I found. First off, Trezor has always been 100% open source, it's the foundation of everything they do, and the Safe 7 does not disappoint. Even with all its new security features, it still remains 100% open source. So it comes with two secure element chips. These are the components that store and protect all the data used to access the device, as well as the keys to your crypto, so it's crucial that they're fully secure. One is a completely open source EAL6 chip created by Infineon, and this is one of the only EAL6 chips on the market that's open source. And the other one is a first of its kind, fully auditable and open source chip created by Tropic Square, which is a company founded by Satoshi Labs, who's also the creator of Trezor Wallets. So this is Trezor's very own in-house secure element chip. This specific chip isn't EAL rated, but it has been audited by security experts, customers, and the open source community, and it can continue to be audited since it is open source and available to the public. But why does it need two secure chips in the first place? Well, according to Trezor, the Infineon chip protects the device from physical access by enforcing pin verification and preventing brute force attempts, even if the device is stolen. And the second 
Topic 1 chip adds another layer of protection from a separate manufacturer, meaning any attacker would have to compromise both chips to gain access to the wallet. Now, the reason I think they use two chips is because a while back, there was a vulnerability found in the Infineon chip. However, because the way Trezor wallets are designed, it didn't affect Trezor wallets. But nonetheless, I think having two chips is just a way to ensure that this wallet remains as secure as possible. Okay, now here's where things get really interesting and where Trezor did a great job with their marketing. They're calling the Safe 7 the first ever quantum ready wallet. But what does that actually mean? To give some context, the main concern is that years from now, quantum computers could be powerful enough to break the cryptographic algorithms that secure these blockchain networks and all of our crypto. That said, you can't actually make a wallet quantum proof because it's only as secure as the network it's protecting. So if a blockchain network ever were compromised, even the most secure wallet won't protect you. So what Trezor is saying is that even though quantum computing isn't an immediate threat to our crypto, they've designed the Safe 7 in a way that will allow us to implement quantum proof firmware updates if and when they come out. So if networks ever transition to post quantum security, you won't need to replace your hardware wallet to take advantage of those updates. Aside from that, the Safe 7 still offers all the same security features you'll find on the older Trezor models, like pin protection, 24 word seed phrases, multi-share backup, as well as passphrase protection, AKA hidden wallet. It's also compatible with most third-party decentralized applications like Aave, Uniswap, and Polymarket to name a few, as well as popular software wallets like MetaMask and Rabi, if you prefer to use those wallets over something like Trezor Suite. As for coin support, it supports all the same coins and blockchain networks as previous models, as well as NFTs, and you can view the full list on their website. So let me know what you think about the Safe 7, once mine arrives, you'll be able to watch my full hands-on review in this next video. See you soon. God bless.